Yeah. All praise to the most high. <laughs> hey, so every single show here on Escaping Plantation 2.0, you already know what it is. It's the righteous rant of the day. Yes, now, it would be great sir. if your finger was always on the trigger. You mm. understand? When you, you never know when we might transit to the righteous rant. Just have your finger there say, <laughs> hit that junk. You know what I'm saying? Just like, you know, like, uh, you know, Joe Biden then might push the button one day. I don't know. Right. Hey, so the right around of the day is, man, listen, these young basketball players, bro, and, and rappers and entertainers, man, they out here killing themselves, bro. Literally. Dying, mm-hmm. literally, and killing their careers. Now, we don't believe in Greekish fashions. You understand? I, I had a background in Greekish fashion. I know all y'all right. had some type of background in some type of Greekish fashion, whether you supported it, whether you played it, or whatever the case may be. It's something we grew up on, right? right. But and with the wisdom and knowledge, we understand now that we were slaves and they forced us to perform for them, mm. right? And fight as gladiators, right? But nowadays, modern day gladiators are NBA players, NFL players, baseball, so on and so forth. Right. And we dominate those realms, right? So we got a young man by the name of Ja Morant. Some of y'all may have heard of him before. He's a M- M- NBA player for the Memphis Grizzlies. Recently had some run ins um, with the NBA. Based off some some stupid stuff that he has done, right? right? Um, I want to show this real quick. This is what Righteous Rant today. We're going to dive into it. Let's read this real quick. Yes, sir. John Morant suspended from all Grizzlies activities after latest gun video. John Morant could be in hot water with the NBA after another video involving an apparent gun surfaced on social media. Mm -hmm. Scroll down. Scroll down. So apparently he had a gun again. This is the second time this year. Apparently he had a gun. Go ahead, read it. The Grizzlies suspended their star guard from all team activities on Sunday after an Instagram live video from the account DTAP2 showed Morant in a car holding what appeared to be a gun. Mm. While the video was deleted from the account, clips of it spread on social media Sunday morning. Damn. We are aware of the social media video involving John Morant. The Grizzlies said in a statement, he is suspended from all team activities pending league review. We have no further comment at this time. Mm-hmm. The video comes more than two months after Morant posted an Instagram live video on March 4th in which he brandished a gun while at a Shotgun Willie strip club in Glendale, Colorado. <laughs> then they got strip clubs in Colorado? <laughs> That's weird. Man. I figure they have meth heads and stuff out there. That's what's in the strip club. <laughs> That's either mice right there, ain't it? Yeah. I, mean, I know we got black folks in Colorado with Captain Gad out there doing work. Shout out to Captain Gad. But I'm saying, though. <laughs> A strip club it's in Colorado? Is it black people in Colorado? <laughs> Other than just, I don't know. No, sir! <laughs> anyway. Hey, name oh. of the place is Shotgun Willie. Shotgun <laughs> Willie, that's what I'm saying. You I know, you already know what kind of place that is. You already know what's going on in there. Mm. Oh, God. Shotgun Willie. Shotgun Willie. He in there with a whole bunch of snow bunnies. Hey, ain't that what? <laughs> Ain't that where Kobe Bryant dumbass went? <laughs> I know trouble. he died. Y'all gonna be mad at me. But he was dumb for that. Didn't right. Kobe Bryant go smash a little Edomite at a, at a hotel in Colorado and almost lost Damn. his career? Yeah. Had to give his wife a $6 million ring. When y'all gonna learn to stay the hell out of Colorado, man? <laughs> Just go to the game and go home, man. Right. That's his shotgun, damn Willis. Yeah. They in there with cowboy hats riding mechanical bulls. He up in that jump branch with a gun. <laughs> <laughs> He had a little 380. Oh, Sit man. down somewhere, John Moran. That's the wild, wild wind. Right, what's wrong with these guys, man? Go back, man. I'm sorry. Water buffalo in that joint. The last buffalo <laughs> in there. The... All right, go ahead. I'm sorry. Leave the brother alone. Oh, trying to help yes, him out. Sir. Read it again. The video <laughs> comes more than two months after Moran posted an Instagram live video on March 4th in which he brandished a gun while at Shotgun Willie's strip club. Shotgun Willie. Somebody, I was, I, if he's in the locker room, like, man, what y'all trying to turn up tonight? Yeah. Where we going? We going? Shotgun, Shotgun Willis. He, he, it was at that moment he knew. <laughs> he effed up. Right. He should have not gone to Shotgun Willis. Oh, God. Go ahead. Yes, sir. <laughs> in Glendale, Colorado, Moran who went to a counseling program in Florida after the March video, Uh was suspended eight games by the NBA. Wow. And it could be much worse this time around. Mm -hmm. John Moran is facing the very real possibility of a lengthy suspension to start next season. All right, now let's go down and let's look at the video. It's a little graphic language, y'all. I apologize. I don't make this wicked drill music. (laughs) Hey, Amalek put this music out, y'all. That's right. Blame the Jewish man. He didn't want to put this music out, okay? All right, so let's play this video. Let's show you the, the video of what happened. All right, play it. I'm not 
All right, Paul. So apparently he brandished the gun real quick and the dude put it down real quick so he couldn't see it. Even he knew, like, bro, what you do that for? Right. Even he knew. Right. Man, you wild now. What you doing? Right. You know what I mean? Go ahead. What you want to say? I'm Go just ahead. saying that that music that they listening to and also, and you can verify this, Cap, a lot of times when our people's really good at sports or whatever, mm -hmm. They kind of get sheltered. Even if they come out the hood, they go ahead and get they shelter them. They separate them yep. from the real hood life, you know, because they know they're going to go somewhere. They're going to make some money off of them. And when they do that, when they do make it wherever they're going, they want a piece of that thug life. I want to want to live the gangster life. And then they go listening to that music, and then you get people brandishing guns, running their careers. So, yeah, so you want to say that too? Listen, listen, listen. That, I mean, you're right. I mean, you you start living a you start wanting to live a life that you never really lived. Right, right. right. You're living vicariously through that music. Right. You know what I mean? You're listening to that music and then you're going out here and you're doing dumb crap. Right. This dude mm -hmm. got a two hundred million dollar contract. Wow. Damn. I'm going to the house every day. Two hundred million? What the hell is you doing, bro? You understand? I'm telling you that music got spirits. Yeah, right. King David said that. Right. I mean, right. what the Bible says right. that. That David had to play the harp to get that evil spirit. Mm -hmm. I mean, you know, some music you hear put a spirit on you. Just relax. You know, you right. can put a spirit of, you can be relaxed, you can be hype. You know, you listen to certain music for the game. We listen to certain music right. for, before we go to camp. Mm -hmm. Right. Mm -hmm. You know, shout out Jaleel, that no naps. That thing get me hype every time. Right. Bring it up. Wake your ass up. <laughs> right, right, you know right. You right, know what I'm saying? Right. Like, you can hit time to go. <laughs> wait the tabernacle <laughs> next year. Wake your ass up. <laughs> I can't wait to play that. You know what I mean? But yeah, that's what you see going on. Our young brothers falling victim to it. Play the next video. It's another video we had. Of the brother, um, <clears throat> so this thing getting bad, man. Then this is the first incident that happened uh, in the John Morant situation. Play that for us. <laughs> That's a shotgun with him. Oh man! So. Every time this happens, he's listening to a type of music. Yeah, know? some music that put in the spirit. And, you know, there could be intoxication. Right, I'm not saying right. he was drunk, but right. I saw her slurs. Right. We all been in that situation. You in the club. Right. You know, that's why they got them strobe lights and all that that's stuff right. like that. Right. Different right. color lights. Right. It does it's all to, to, to put a spirit on you. You know, a demonic spirit at that. You don't know it's demonic because right. you in it. Us on the outside, we know it's demonic because of what we learned. But we was in the club like that, too. Yeah, exactly. We were doing the same foolishness. Let's go ahead and play that. After the Grizzlies basketball game, Morant was seen on his personal Instagram inside of a club holding what appears to be a gun in his hand while listening to music. The post comes at a time where Morant is facing heavy scrutiny for a string of off the court news out of the NBA where the Grizzlies have announced that John Morant will be away from the team for at least the next two games. This news comes after Morant flashed what appeared to be a gun on Instagram live early Saturday morning. The NBA has also announced that it's open an investigation into the incident. The Grizzly star will miss a minimum of Sunday's game against the Clippers and Tuesday's game against the Lakers. So go to the next video. So you see what's going on, all right? So we've seen this happen with a few athletes before. Right. You know, he ain't the first one we've right. been seeing where they get a lot of money at a young age. Remember, he was 19 years old when he got drafted to the right. NBA. Right. right? Now he's 23, four years later. So he ain't really – he ain't grown up. He's grown up under that, just playing sports mm -hmm. a Greekish fashion, right. which I already put a spirit on you. Mm -hmm. Then you add this drill music, you possibly drugs and money. Right. And you ain't got God nowhere up in that thing. Right. No sir, watch this, play this. Oh, so he don't come from that life. So they made they made fun of him on social media with the Eight Mile song. Remember when Eight Mile when he got on Clarence? Right. All right, here we go, play it. <laughs> But I know something about you. You went to Cranbrook. That's a private school. But Savannah, dog, you embarrassed? This guy's a gangster. His real name is Clarence. And Clarence gives a home to both parents. Dang. And Clarence's parents have a real good marriage. This guy don't want to battle. He shook. Because ain't no such things as that play crook. So they got on him. Wow. Rightfully so, though, right, bro. Right, you did it right, to yourself. Right, you come right. from a decent background. Mom and dad, you know, sacrificed for you to be where you're at. Right. You go to college. You know what I mean? You, you you take off. Nobody expect you to take off like that. You do well. You get drafted. You get the money, and you get around niggas. Right. Now, this the, the, he, he barking up the wrong tree because I reached out to a brother that's with us that used to be real heavy in the uh, California California gang life is right, different. Right. It, they, they really do that. Right. You know what I'm saying? Like, 
even when we in Cali, we respectful when we deal with these brothers and stuff right. like that. You know what I'm saying? Because they really live there. Not to say we're afraid, but we got to, you know, you go into somebody else's territory. You go into a Piru territory or Rolling 60 territory. And we preaching the word of God. We all got on purple or whatever. You know what I'm saying? We got to try to relate to our people. Remember, scripture say briar and thorns be amongst you. Right. You understand? So we deal with them a certain type of way. Because we ain't there to destroy them, we there to build them up. But their whole lifestyle and mindset is the gang life, the gang life, the gang life. So this young brother, uh, John ja Morant, he has been listening to their music, flashing guns, possibly doing drugs. I'm not making any allegations against it. I don't know if he's doing drugs, but I know that they a lot of athletes smoke weed because I was there. Right. Uh, in the club, on the highest level, making a lot of money. Now, while he's on the court, he's throwing up gang signs. He throwing up rolling 60 ends, right. things. Just play this video. How do you feel about him, you know, allegedly throwing up Crip? I don't think so. Run it in. You know what's up. He ain't with the gangland like that. You throwing them ends up, that's going to cost you. What you want to do? Pay the Crips for the rest of your life? You get what I'm saying? Like, you ain't never been to the 60s, nigga. You keep throwing up ends and all that shit when you in throwing up C's and all that, nigga. You ain't even from this shit. You ain't even from this shit, no way, shape, or form. Like, when you get put on in Memphis, dead homies. Like, come on, let's be real, cuz. Like, 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 start being real with yourself. You a basketball player, cuz. You want to come step into this field, we can show you a whole lot about this shit. Set up a meeting for me and John Morant since he want to be a crip. Um, six, so I bet you he don't never show up. And it's on some friendly shit. I don't got no beef with you, Jock. And then you throwing up 60s and you kicking it with, I don't know. Who's your end? Quando Rondo? <laughs> Who do you know over here? So, I mean, I don't know that dude. You know what I'm saying? I don't know that brother. But I will say this. When they start going on social media and start speaking about the things that you're doing in that regard, because they don't know this dude, they ain't got no reason to beef with this guy I mess with. Like he said, I ain't got no beef with you. But you delving into a realm of wickedness right. and a realm of Satan that you don't know nothing about. I got friends and family that come from the streets, and they right. move totally different. You understand? Especially those that have survived That's right. the streets. When you hit 40, 50, and you've been in the streets 30 years, right. and you survive, don't mess with that dude. Right. You feel me? Like, right. Give me that the guy that got the power to kill in Ciroc 9. You know what I'm talking about? 12, 11, 13, something like that. You start delving into this realm. I'm telling you, Satan in the midst of that sports stuff, man. And that drug game, gang life. You, you get entrapped by that crap. You know what I'm saying? That's why the Bible calls it a trap. But he ain't even in the trap. Right. No. He a professional athlete trying to be in the trap. Don't that don't make no sense. Is. Go ahead. The Y'all book diving of- on this topic, too. Go ahead. The book of Sirach, chapter 9 and verse 13. Bring it up. Keep thee far from the man that hath the power to kill. So when you go into these neighborhoods, when you start throwing up these gang signs and claiming stuff that you have no understanding of, you go, you delving into a different realm. These dudes, a lot of these guys are ruthless, man. They don't, they don't care. Right. You know, and, and matter of fact, some of them looking to go to jail to get their stripes. Right. Mm-hmm. You understand? Some of them look, looking to catch a body. Message. Remember what happened to Nipsey Hussle? You think that was a coincidence? Right. Some of these rappers and athletes that done died over the years, going back to their neighborhoods, going into neighborhoods, going to clubs that they ain't have no business in, getting put to death. Like, this ain't no game. Right. And the brother think it's a game because he ain't got wisdom. His father up there playing, dancing like Usher and stuff on the, on the sideline. His dad ain't correcting him. You know what I'm saying? But he probably can't tame him. He got too much money. Look at that nigga. I make right. 193 million. You, <laughs> what you, you work at them wherever. Right. Right. You know what I'm saying? My whole life growing up. I got more money than you ever could imagine. And dad like, you know what, son, do your thing. He out there partying with him, doing wickedness with him. And that's why the scriptures say that. Read again. Keep thee far from the man that hath power to kill. Go ahead. So shall thou not doubt the fear of death. It says, so shall thou not doubt the fear of death. He going to kill you or lay hands on you. Go ahead. And if thou come unto him, make no faults. Be careful. Watch your mouth. That's what it's saying. Right. Watch your mouth. Watch your hands. Right. Watch the colors you wear. I remember I was in Cali. I probably like ninth or 10th grade. Went out there with one of my friends and his father and my father. We went out there and we were playing ball, you know, hooping. And and we was with a guy. And um, I remember the, my best friend's brother, his older brother, got out the car with red on. He was doing all this dancing and stuff. And the dude said, hey, 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 hey. So you don't want to be bouncing around this neighborhood wearing red like that. He was serious. He was shook. He was like, bro, 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 sit your behind down. Get back in the car. Right. He was really shook. 
And you know, we kids. We're like, right. but why are you so shook? We kids. They ain't gonna do nothing to us. He said, man, they kill babies out right. here. Right, right. You understand? They kill little girls out here. M- pregnant women out here sell dope to them. You don't know where you at. You understand? So you start delving into things that you ain't got no business delving in, bro. This to John Moran. This is a message to the young brother. You need to repent, first of all, keep the commandments of God. But if you if you go finish out this NBA career, you need to donate to Israel at IsraelUnite.org. That's right. <laughs> That's right. That's oh, right. On, on PayPal. Help us out. <laughs> right. But you need to stay away from this crap that you're trying to involve yourself in, young brother. You don't know what you're barking up. Mm. Like, we talking about spiritual things right now. Right? Read that again. And if thou come unto him, make no fault, lest he take away thy life presently. He'll take away your life in an instant. Go ahead. Remember that thou goest in the midst of snares. You hear what the Bible say? Remember, this is wisdom for us. We know this, though. Right. So we say, hell no. <laughs> right. We're not going to night camp at 1 in the morning over there. That don't make no sense. We're looking to fight. You know what I'm saying? Right. We know we're going to end up fighting over there. Right. right. It don't make no sense. It's dark. Can't nobody see the gun. And we're not getting involved in that. We got the wisdom to say, nah, nah, this ain't the time to go there. Right? Go ahead. And that thou walkest upon the battlements of the city. You walking on edge. That's what that means. Ain't the battlements the edge. That's right. You walking on edge. Right. You better be careful. Get put to death out here. So, I mean, that's a message to John Moran. Y'all have something y'all want to say to the young brother, man? Help him out. Go I ahead. Can. Let me get some rock 12. This just kind of stood out in my mind. The brother said something at the beginning. Mm-hmm. Um, but the brother, the, the Crip brother, he was like, what you want to be doing? Playing, playing the Crips for the rest of your life? Mm-hmm. A lot of these celebrities right. do that. You got people like Chris Brown. Right. And Soldier Boy that claim to be Bloods, and they can actually do this, but it's not because they're from that life. Right. It's because they pay these people for protection, right? Wow. But let them get out of line. Read that, Sirach chapter 12 and verse 5. Sirach chapter 12 and verse 5. Read it Just an example. Read. Do well unto him that is lowly, mm-hmm. but give not to the ungodly. So we're talking about giving to the ungodly, right? Gang life is ungodly, as we all know. Keep reading. Hold back thy bread, uh-huh. and give it not unto him. Because dude said, what you want to do? You want to pay the Crips for the rest of your life? You want to give your bread to the Crips for the rest of your life to be able to do stuff with your hands on the court? Look right. like you about that? Well, watch this. Keep reading. Lest he overmaster thee thereby. What he do? Overmaster thee thereby. That same, those same people that you pay for that protection will overmaster you by you giving them that. What, what I mean? They will extort you and let you not right. pay. Let them not let you make miss a payment. Right. Let you not uh be able to kick in when it's time to. Keep reading. For if thou shalt receive twice as much evil. You're going to receive twice as much evil. Come on. For all the good that thou shalt have done unto him. So, yeah, you got to be careful with that thing. That's it. That's heavy, bro. Right. That's heavy. You had something else, Sam? Uh, just. Oh. No, sir. Uh, jump up to the next chapter, verse 7. Just, just because just the point on the. 13 and 7? The brother. Uh, chapter 13, verse 7. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. So rock 13 and verse 7. Bring it out. And he will say. Read verse 6. Read verse 6. Yes, sir. Verse 6. If he have need of thee, he will deceive thee. So I want to start right there. It says, if he have need of thee, he will deceive thee. Meaning, you see the brother in the video. The brother, yeah, he's smiling. It may seem like he's laughing, but that brother's serious. Right. right. He don't want to talk to John Morant. <laughs> right. Right. He, want, he, want, he really want to see about you because the brother look like he come from that life. Read on. And smile upon thee. Because he'll smile. He'll smile in the camera. Hey, John Morant, come sit down. Let's learn about, the, about whatever you're trying to learn about, Reed. And put thee in hope. And put you in hope, meaning what? When you come to me, I can show you all that you want to know. You're throwing up the signs. You know, I'll show you what you want to know. I'll teach you. He'll put you in hope, Reed. He will speak thee fair and say, what want is that? I got the knowledge for you, Reed. And he will shame thee by his meat. He will start to shame you, Reed. Until he have drawn thee dry twice or thrice. Until he drawn you dry. Mm-hmm. He took all whatever you got, your chains, right. your, your gold teeth, your earrings. He going to take all of that. In other words, he going to rob your ass. He going to rob you, Reed. And at the last, he will laugh thee to, excuse me, and at the last, he will laugh thee to scorn. And at the last, he'll laugh you to scorn. Why? Because you not about that life. You will, you, you will quote unquote sucker to him. He gonna laugh you to scorn because he know you ain't about that life. He know right. you're not tough. He gonna rob you. He gonna get his homeboy to rob you and he gonna laugh in your face if they don't put you to death. Finish right. it out. Read on. Afterward, when he see thee, he will forsake thee when and he, shake his head at thee. So he gonna fors- forsake you and shake his head. Yeah, he came with all that jury. He came with those with those gold cards, black cards, but guess what? He ain't leave with it. Right. Hey, you shame that brother. Hey, that's a good ass precept. But when you read right there where it said, and at the last he will laugh thee to scorn, meaning you ever see situations where a dude act hard and then they whoop him? Right. Mm-hmm. right. And then they send him on his way and they right. laugh. And I don't right. know if you ever seen the movie uh, Paid in Full. 
Remember the dude, remember when uh, it was dry out there, Ace Boogie wasn't selling nothing else, Cameron was pissed off. Dude right. pulled up and said, man, oh, we, spo- we supposed to stop. We supposed to not have no drug because your man got shot. Right. And he dragged him out the car, right. whooped him, and sent him under, up the block in his drawers. Yep. You remember that? Yep. He beat him up there, and, he, and they laughed him to scorn. Right. But he was serious. Cameron right. was serious. Everybody else was laughing. Right. He was serious. He took the dude chain and all that. Like, that stuff real, man. Y'all getting up into stuff that y'all have no business of. Go to song 119 and 9. We're going we gonna to shut it down. Yes, I think I had one more video or something, maybe. Did I have one more video of him? No, sir! Is it? All right, come on. Yes, sir. The Book of Psalms, chapter 119 and verse 9. So this is a message that John Morant, but to all you young men that want to try to live that life, even those of you in the truth that secretly listen to drill music like we don't know you listening to it. We see the spirit on you. Right. You better stop listening to that crap. You're going to end up like this right here. Go ahead. Psalms 119 and 9. Wherewith thou shall a young man cleanse his way? By taking heed thereto, according to thy word. So the Bible said the only way that you're going to cleanse your way, young men, is by taking heed to God's word. Remember, you the Israelites. You God's chosen people. You the kings of this earth, the gods of this earth. That's right. And you want to allow yourself to be taken from this earth, lose everything you done worked hard for over trying to look like you something that you not. Mm. If they dropped him off in the hood right now, you remember that time? On Dave Chappelle, he had a show called <laughs> Wife Swap. The Wife Swap. Right, right, right. right. Damn. Damn. Little Edomite, he was like, You know what I'm saying? He like, You know what I'm saying? He left the little Edomite boy in the hood. Little right, Edomite right. boy was like, I'm hard. I'm from the hood. He said, Oh, yeah, you from the hood, bet. He dropped him off in the hood. Right. And let him feel that. Like, if you ain't never felt that, bro, the only reason, a lot of times, the only reason athletes are protected is because they're athletes. Mm-hmm. A lot of people right. in the neighborhood say, Nah, leave little bro alone. He got a future. Don't bring mm-hmm. him into this life. Right. You feel what I'm saying? That's right. But but so and so you got brothers that escape that life. I and mean, ain't talking about just escape it. I'm talking about they get up there like right. this brother. Right. Start making a lot of money, start doing a lot of things, blow up out of nowhere. And then they want to go back into that life. You gotta be the stupidest dude alive. You understand that? That's Look. how the that's how the brother I'm sorry. Go ahead. That's how the brother uh brother football player named Rich, Richard Sherman. He grew up in Compton. Yeah, I remember and that. He, he used to tell that story. Yeah. He tried to be part of it, and they told him, no, you got a good, you got a good man and you use it. And he went and used it, and he didn't look back. Yeah, I like Richard Sherman. He speak right. well. I like him. You know, he, he 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 ain't scared to challenge white people either. Right. I like him. Right. <laughs> he went to Stanford. He got a Stanford education. I, I like I like the brother. Uh, he just need to repent, keep the commandment. But, you know, hey, that's the righteous run of the day, man. Look, John Moran, if you watch it, somebody, he probably got a whole bunch of people doing these type of videos on him. Right. But this is the one you need to see, man. You better repent right. and keep the commandments. What is the nation? Nation is men leading by example. Nation is family.